Hey everyone, welcome to this week's episode of Winter is Taking Forever. It's our Game of Thrones sort of recap review show. It's, yeah. uh, it's, it is, it's long. So the episode starts with a cold open, which already we know something's up, because there's yeah. been like, not many. So at first I was like, oh, it's Ian McShane. That's yeah, what they're yeah, doing. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're doing the cold open for Ian McShane, and yeah. then it's, no, it's the Hound. Yeah, He's that was alive. cool. At this point in the show, are you sure anybody's dead? I mean, this whole season's been resurrecting nope. people from the dead. Nope. I'm not sure anybody's dead. Yeah, anymore. Sean Bean's gonna be back. Can we say, by the way, Ian McShane looked so much more merry than I've ever seen him in his whole life. And seeing him, like, skip around and, like, ducking under logs. And, like, <laughs> yeah. giving a guy a little friendly pat on the ass. Like, good steeple building, buddy. You see four guys lugging this one tree like this is the last thing they'll ever do before <laughs> they die. And then in strolls the f***ing hound. It's like, hey. Holding just as big a tree, sets it down. He's like, God, tough day's work. Yeah. We know that he has, at least in his own mind, like, a clear delineation between what I used to be and what I am now. What I took away <laughs> was the following things. One, there are hippies in Westeros, yeah. which I enjoyed. I sure. like that there are hippies in Westeros. Apparently nobody remembers how they got to this place. Like it's literally Hotel California out there. <laughs> and I'm a nice guy, but I swear to God, if somebody recited to me all the events yeah. leading up to our friendship, I'd be like, dude, <laughs> I fucking know. Okay, so another uh, series of scenes in this episode that I actually enjoyed quite a bit was, uh, was Sansa and Jon Snow recruiting various members of the North uh, into their army to fight the Boltons. And they get to yeah. go to, to Bear Island, which is awesome because it's the first time, for, it's awesome for a couple of reasons. Yes. One, it was awesome to see it because it's, it's, it's gorgeous. Just, yes, it shows up yeah. on screen. I was like, is that, is that Bear Island? And yeah. they get in there, like, oh, it is Bear Island. And then they have the, 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 the amazing kid, the amazing Bear Island child is. ruler of Bear Island. But holy shit, do I want to spin off with that kid? So good. She had no time for anyone's bullshit. No. <laughs> yes, I know why you're here. I also remember your backstory. Can we get to the point, please? Yeah. It's like, damn. They went into Bear Island Hall with two different plans. Yes. Like Jon Snow was like, we gotta, we have to convince her to fight with us, with my sad face. And then <laughs> Davos was like, we're gonna convince her to fight with us because we're gonna show her that we got a real fucking zombie here. Like, <laughs> yeah. I feel like this whole montage was set up in such a way to see like how each of the three key members, like Jon Snow, Sansa, and Davos, like individually are assisting in the cause. Real quick before we leave the scene, yeah. who's on the field when Sansa gets her ravens? Lord, Lady, Lady Mormont. 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 Yeah, dude. <laughs> Lady Mormont's right out there. That was so good. Oh, She's 10 year like, old. I'm giving you 60 men and one Lady Mormont, right? And she yeah. like strolls out she there. Strides out there. I swear to God, Island Island. why didn't they give her a mace? Like, that's all I wanted. <laughs> yeah. Episode's called The Broken Man. Right. Um, because it's about all these human wreckages that yes. have, we get we start off with the hound so yeah. he's clearly the broken man and then we also then we go to Theon yes and Theon is just ruined yeah he's he having a real like, bad time he's not he's not enjoying life so much it was like, kind of an asshole move for his sister to bring him to a brothel and be like dude why are you so bummed about not having right, a dick right because he bro? doesn't they show he's clearly in like physical pain being surrounded by all these women he's like I can't fucking be here yeah I guess the point of the episode is is revisiting these characters and like trying to get them back because yes. like if Theon who's getting Screamed at by his sister, is like, I, if you're gonna be here, then be here because yeah. I need you. Drink some like stuff. Drink the goddamn ale. <laughs> she actually says in that scene, she's like, Oh, sorry, I forgot about the dick thing. You got all the way to a Volantian fucking brothel, and that's when and you remember you your remember brother's got no dick? dick? You saw that severed member. Yeah. You looked at it like, That's yeah. the dick that oh, oh, my brother. Dad, now it's in my hands now. This. All right, so we're finally getting to see Jamie in the Riverlands, which is a big plot point from the Yes, books. I mean, Bronn being in there is fantastic. Bronn being in there is great. Yeah, first of all, we got the fucking, well, it's not even really a hero shot, but it should be. Yeah. And then to show up, Bronn is finally right. here. He hasn't been there for seven episodes. Yes. <laughs> River Lands is important for Jamie's character because yeah. it's when we, in, in the books anyway, it's when, we, it's when we begin to see his arc as, I'm going to be a good dude now. We learned that all these frays are not very good at anything, apparently. I don't give a rock. <laughs> so this week on uh, Religious Corruption again, Oh yeah. Uh, Jonathan Price decides to tell uh, Marjorie that like, hey man, why aren't you f***ing that king? Yeah, you, what's, up with, what's up with you f***ing that king? I appreciated this scene because now this character is finally clear to me. He wants Marjorie to give Tommen an heir while right. he's got his claws in Tommen. Right, exactly. So in any case, Marjorie, it was a little unclear, a little even unclear. in this episode, whether I, or not she really buys into right. this or not. And then we get that scene with the Where most telegraphed the handoff in the world. It was she's a lot like, of, yeah. oh! <laughs> Rig, let me hand you. When the Queen of Thorns opens up that note and it's just a rose, I understood that that was code between them. But to me, like just looking at what that was, that could have been a fucking clown drawing for all I know. <laughs> like that sh did not mean anything specific. So in any case, Arya strolling about Bravos, throwing around a lot of we money. See, we at, see her dropping yeah. some serious coin yeah, on this dude. Coin. And then stealing it back, which I kind of liked. So then she's just like strolling down 
a fucking bridge. She, she's like whistling. And so then comes creepy old lady and says, what does she say? Sweet girl. Stabs oh, sweet the girl. almighty Jesus. Out. That was a fucking wire style shit again yeah. right there. Pushes her over the bridge, which she's a bad assassin. The waif is not terribly good at her job. I all. mean. Because the first thing you think they teach you in assassin school is dead people float. So now let's talk about the great finale of this episode, uh, which was the hound. Uh, having having bonded with Ian McShane over child murder. And he's chopping wood so loud that, that he, he doesn't hear the 50 men and women getting <laughs> murdered yeah. in the background. So he like stops chopping wood, he's like, hmm, strangely quiet over here. Yeah. And like walks down the hill to the fucking grisliest the, scene I've ever seen in my life. Ocean of dead people. Yeah, it was like a lot of dead people. Yeah. That doesn't happen quietly. And then comes probably the best moment of the season so far. He like looks down at the axe, he's like, God damn it. And like takes the axe, right? And then just strolls off and you're like, oh, it's gonna be version 2.0 of the Hound. Yeah. I love that shit. Hound reboot. Instead of armor, it's gonna be him in a fucking like, uh, whatever those peasants wear, yeah. and an axe, and he's just gonna go fucking town to town, slaughtering the fuck out of people till he meets the zombie mountain. All right, so let's do some predictions for what we're gonna see for the rest of the season. Okay, right? here's a possible prediction. Okay. Um, I think they might bring in Lady Stoneheart. Yeah, there's been a lot of debate about that. Which is a character yeah. that they, the showrunners said they weren't gonna bring in from the book, but um, they're doing a, there's a couple of things that happened in this episode that made me think that that might be the reveal. Maybe right. not necessarily next episode, but definitely by the end of the season, that might end up being the big reveal. My prediction is that, uh, and I, I mentioned this earlier, but uh, definitely Lady Mormont has to have spinoff romance uh, because I like shipping people in Westeros. With Sweet Robin. Yeah, it's gotta be with Sweet Robin. That's what Littlefinger's doing. That That's like one of the little. check marks on his fucking to-do list, right? He brings Lord Aaron down and, he, and like they see each other and she, he's like looking at a bird. She sees him. And dollies in and like the Westeros equivalent of this magic moment yep. hits. We're all seeing and have been seeing forever that Daenerys is coming with the dragons to take over Westeros. Yeah. Like I'd love that to just happen already. Yeah. I, would I wouldn't really... mind cutting to the next episode and it's already It's happened. already, yeah. Everything I would not mind Everything's that. on fire. Yeah. There I would not just... mind that. Like and just, and then, and then Tyrion just drinking <laughs> sideways out of his goblet. Well, we finally got to Westeros this yeah. season. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this episode of uh, Game of Thrones recap. Winter is taking forever. You got it. Uh, again, we're still looking for more segments to add, so feel free to, in the comments below, suggest other segments. Uh, please like and subscribe and share if you enjoyed the video. And, uh, you know, what other ships can you guys see yeah, foraging here? Yeah, who else should get together? Yeah, do you, I, I feel like it's really important that uh, the guy who looks like Jeff Tweedy, who's now Lord of the Iron Islands, uh, shows up with his ships and sings California Stars to Daenerys. <laughs> I think that's really important. And just immediately wins yeah. her over. She's like, oh, that's the hero I've been waiting for. I would for. take yeah, other songs. I would be fine with War on War. I'd be fine with uh, several other Wilco tracks. I'd be fine with that.